welcome back to another Vim Media Arts live event. My name's Nico Jauchico, and tonight we're here at the San Jose Stage Theater Company for the world premiere of a new play by Luis Valdez, Adios Mama Carlota. Now, this is the first time that Vim Media has been here at the San Jose Stage Company, and it's going to be a great time. Let me tell you a little bit about Adios. It's a tale of love and politics. It takes place in 1927, and Adios tells the story of the rise and fall of a ruler's reign and the unfinished love story. Now, regarding the San Jose Stage Company, it, it was one of six theaters to receive a Theater Commission Award to stage Luis Valdez's works. This $50,000 grant supports the creation and production of new theater by playwrights who represent the voice of California today. Playwright Luis Valdez is regarded as one of the most important American playwrights living today. He himself is internationally renowned for his award-winning theater company, El Teatro Campesino. His son is actually the one directing the play tonight. We're gonna see a lot of Bay Area local actors. We'll have people like Edward Hightower, Will Springhorn Jr., and Allison Rich. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are here with the amazing playwright himself, Mr. Luis Valdez. How are you doing today? I'm just fine, thank you. It's a good night. Yeah, can you tell us about why you chose the San Jose Stage Company to premiere this amazing play? Well, this play is the second part of a three-year partnership. Uh, we did Valley of the Heart here a couple of years ago, and then I was commissioned by uh, Randall and Kathleen King. They're the executive and uh, artistic directors of, of this company. And so uh, we began, then I began to write, right? And uh, so this is the premiere. This is the opening night of a new play, right? And it's a play that I've been thinking about for 20 years, you know, uh, but uh, working on only in the last year or so. Is it always exciting having new plays come out? It's like a birth, you know, it's like any living thing. It, it, uh, it's born roughly, you know, births are not easy. There's a labor and there's struggle and uh, we always fighting time and resources. You know, we had a three week rehearsal period. I was not the director this time, thank God. You know, it, it's a double pressure for me to be the playwright and the director of a new play. But the, fortunately, I have my son now, my, my son Kinan, who directed this play. And it's the first time for me to hand over the script, you know. He was also my dramaturg, so I was making corrections as during the rehearsal period. Of course. And, uh, and then I handed him essentially the reins, you know. He, he directed this and put it on his feet. So it's been a wonderful experience for me as a father and as a playwright. Well, what inspired you to write a, make this play in particular about this era in history? Well, I've always been fascinated by this period, the French uh, and Austrian influence in Mexico is apparent to anybody. I mean, that's had, uh, you have a torta, you know, and that's a French bun, you know? We call it bolillo, right? Yeah, yeah. And the term bolillo actually was a term that we used to use uh, in the barrio for white people, you know? It just means white bread. <laughs> it means a, a white a French loaf. But uh, the fact is that uh, mariachis, for instance, came from the French word mariage. So they had these Mexican musicians come to French weddings or Mexican weddings during the French. So mariage became mariachi. Is that um, it's history that is significant because it's the founding of the modern nation of Mexico as a democracy. And Benito Juarez was the founding father. He wrote the Constitution. He was a chief justice of the Supreme Court before he became president. And then, of course, once he became president, the French invaded. And so he had to fight, you know, to regain his country. And he won that war with the backing of the United States. He was able then to reclaim uh, the presidency and and put Mexico back on track. It's a lot of history, but this section isn't too well known because people don't study this. this they celebrate Cinco de Mayo without even knowing what Cinco de Mayo was about. So this explains that it was when the French first invaded Mexico and the Mexican army defended, uh, defended Puebla and beat the French army for the first time. What can we expect from you in the future? Is there anything else you're thinking about? Well, I have a new play. I've been commissioned by the Marte Forum in Los Angeles for a new play. And uh, this will be about the origins of the grape strike and uh, the Filipino farm workers that started it. Oh, really? Wow, I'm Filipino myself. I'll there you go. It. So it's called Song of the Manong. Oh, okay. Yeah. And that'll be uh, in 2020, uh, if they decide to produce it. I haven't, I haven't submitted it yet. I haven't even written it yet, but I'm doing the research, okay? But I lived it. I was in Delano, of course. I started my company at Dietro Campesino on the picket lines. And a couple of our original members were Filipinos. So, you know, Filipino brothers, the Pinoy, you know, uh, strikers were were brothers in the, in the trenches, man, on the battlefield. Yeah. So I want to acknowledge that. I want to acknowledge and, and pay homage 
not just who says that and Dolores and the Mexicans, but also the Filipinos, you know, that were there at the beginning. And so uh, I embrace them. I'm going to embrace them with this play. All right. Well, thank you so much for this interview, Mr. Valdez. It's been an honor to meet you. Congratulations. Now, Adios closes on April 28th, but you guys can still get tickets at the San Jose Stage Company website for as low as $30. You're not going to want to miss it. This is a great show. It's going to be really exciting. The world premiere. You guys could be the first to see it. I also want to remind you guys about our later streams. The TBA is coming up later this year. It's going to be really great. A lot of other my special co-hosts are going to be here with me. So tune in for that also. My name is Nico Jauchico. Go see a show, and we'll see you next time.